It's it a whole different a... subject, and I know we went on this tangent about marriage and kids, and I don't believe just because you no, have because kids. My whole thing is most of guys that step out, they'll tell you something you didn't do in the relationship. But it, but I don't this give a shit. But yeah. my Look but here. my thing is more often than not. Because I, I really do feel I try my best to understand whoever I'm with. Exactly. So if if you couldn't tell me, hey, I want you to do this more, and if he but told you're you, not going to tell me to do this more. That's why we're going to have couples if therapy. If he told just you, but you didn't couples hear. therapy is couples fucking therapy amazing. Couples therapy is amazing. Look, I was listening to this one couple. They're rooted in the church. And, you know, for me, I think of things like therapy as like exercise. Like something yeah. you do to maintain yourself. Mm-hmm. But there's so many avenues to upkeep this, this, and this, if you have the, the opportunity and the finances like mm-hmm. to be able to upkeep, obviously, yeah. this in another perspective from a person who is qualified. Right. Going to mm-hmm. be real. Outside Qualification. Mediator. Outside of friends, outside of you. other things. I do. Like, when I am married, I want to be able to have a couple's ther- like therapist. I would want pre-marriage yeah. counseling Me too. during and, you and know through why? hardships. Because I think sometimes, and I want... Going back to what I said in the beginning, I don't want a facade. I don't want anything, like, uh, even in the relationship goals, I don't want anything fake. I really want things to be on a the table, and I want to be able to understand how I can be a better person, a better wife, a yeah. better mother, yeah. and vice versa, because we don't know everything. At and all. coming together, two worlds coming together takes a lot, and it takes a lot of understanding. So having that professional guidance for me, I would want that. Yeah, like, I would how, want that. After how long, though? Because don't I you think it, you I, can do it? I, I'm not saying you can't do it by yourself, but some things can be lost. Mm-hmm. So it could be lost in just the day-to-day hustle of living. Yeah. I think of just because I I mean, I got to a fit body means I stop working out. No, I want to be able to do things maintain. to maintain mm-hmm. this level of a fit body that I work so hard to get, whether I work so hard to heal or understand who I am as an individual, as a whole person by myself, and my partner did the same, you are still bridging two worlds together, and there are certain things that I still may miss as a human. So if I have an outside professional person saying, hey, have you ever thought that maybe when you do this, that it can make him feel like this? And this is why he's reacting in this way, because it's so psychological. We can miss what's subconscious. Yep. Right? So I don't have that backing. I don't have the, that understanding. And I'll be real. So for me and my partner, me and my husband, you damn right we're going to be doing couples therapy. And it isn't like something that's a taboo. No, it's something to help us continue to mesh and connect and understand. Yes, you can do that on your own, but I still think on your own, you can miss a lot of details. And yeah. for me, I want to be so rooted in my person, and I want them to understand me. I want to understand them so we can continue to function, and we don't ever feel like it's just a complete... Dis- I don't think of, of, of therapy as something that's it's a disaster, now we need to fix it. I think of it as... How are we gonna make it better? Like, how yeah. can we learn? And the be- and what people tend to forget tend to forget is when it's two worlds combining. They think, okay, this is your personality, this is mine. They always forget that as years pass by, there you're always changing. Absolutely. So then, exactly. A lot of times, arguments are like, well, you you're not the same person you used to be. I was like, that's not the plan. That's not that's not life. We're life supposed is to evolution. grow. To, exactly. You're that's supposed to adapt, saying. grow. We're going to go through different... Now we're married. That's a whole mm-hmm. new situation versus when mm-hmm. we were single versus when we were just dating because we still had our own individuality. Exactly. Now we have to come together. Now we have a kid, if that. Now we have the same household. I have to understand your living habits. You have to understand exactly. my, Like Those little things tend to start arguments exactly. that, that create into bigger things or just, just mindset. You know, so you are open to getting married with someone. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Married, but you know that's different than having, obviously, you know, as kids. Yeah, yeah. And you know what's so funny? When I listened to this couple, oh my god, I wish I really remembered their name. I stumbled on them. It was like that rabbit hole I went down mm-hmm. on Instagram. That I oh yeah, do. three. It was it three a.m. It was like, girl, it was late, and I was <laughs> like, who are these people? Because I also like Mike Todd's relationship goals. I yeah. really like the reality of life because I'm not into painting a a, a perfect picture. Right. And it, it's not perfect, and right. we living a facade. I'm not Why about that Why do you think so much life. depressed people? Right. Like, well, so I didn't have that, so. Right, so people, so unhappy. No, I want to let open table. And what I loved about this couple was those things that they understand that after three kids, they're going to be changing. And they understood that having a, a someone else come in could help them understand, like, 
the missing link. So, yeah. like, so she was like, oh, like, I work late at night on my laptop. And I would just be working while he's preparing for bed. But I was just trying to work as he's preparing for bed. And he was thinking, oh, she's something as simple as this. She's working. Let me not bother her. Mm. This is the time I want to be maybe sexual with her. But now it's an off limit space because now she's working. And she didn't realize that was the cue she was sending out. So I w- I'm not going to lie. I'm smart. But I maybe would not have thought of that. Like, right. damn, I'm, I'm thinking like, let me just get like some people more are, stuff done. Right, people are assuming certain really things. W- right. And I really wish I remember this because they gave so much insight yeah. um, to their That's situation. That's what I noticed. The last person I dated, we weren't even boyfriend girlfriend. It was, it was, there was a disconnect that I couldn't figure out. I knew for a fact that it was the other person's lack of just trying to understand another person's shoes. Yeah, right, okay, and I tried either. my best to figure out what the, what am I doing wrong? We we not even like technically dating, and for some reason it's just not right. There's a disconnect that's pissing me off, mm-hmm. and I'm just like. You're not going to voice anything about what you think I'm doing. You're just going to assume and then expect me to apologize. Fill in the blanks. Nope. So then when I'm trying to correct you and you don't even want to take the correction, you just want an apology. Now I'm going to have resentment. I'm not even going to want to have to bother with you. So then that the cycle continues. And then there's a now when I realized I'm much happier without the person because I realized, listen, I don't even have to try to explain something that actually happened and him choosing to believe what he wanted to believe just to it get it. It takes a, two at the end of the oh, day. Oh, it does. And, and that's the beauty of a relationship. And that's what I love. So like with the ex-boyfriend that I had where we communicated and then it faltered, it was like the communication part was so beautiful. That's what I want to maintain in each relationship that I get into yeah. was to make sure that at least I want to, I want to know how you feel. Mm-hmm. I want to know what you thought I was doing. So exactly. like, now nah, we'll laugh about it and be like, oh my God. I'm so sorry. That's literally not what not happened. What in happened. my head, I thought I was doing this, right. but I get. I it. can get where you're coming from, and the and the and the beautiful thing about being an individual and coming together and having that line. We talk about communication, but the level of communication it's intense. It's so deep because you're talking about perspective. You're talking yeah. about nature. Ner- you're talking about so many. Things. You're just you're not even trying to be right. You're just you, talking. Right. Oh, and I love that. The, the you said this. I think on the very first topic where it's like it's not about a need to be right it's really to tackling the relationship goals the um the it's problem at right. hand and i think that is so important i'm not attacking you when i say i don't want to be at war in my house yeah this is what i mean yeah. i want to a level of understanding so it's, it's relationships yes for me you're damn right 